Hi, this is Deborah Dashinger, Dare to Dream Radio. And look, you keep asking, how do I make my dreams come true? What are the steps to easy goal achievement? How am I surely going to get there? Great. So I put together an MP3. It is for you. It's an hour long. I'm going to give you the way to get it because this is my gift to you, meaning it's free. It's free for you. I want to see you succeed. So go there. Go to DebraDashinger.com slash free gift. Get your MP3 download. And please listen and do what it says because it's going to teach you how to get there. So grab a pen. It's D-E-B-O-R-A-H, Deborah Dashinger, D is in David, A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com slash free gift. Free gift for you. And also you'll see some amazing products there, like my best-selling book, only $13.99, can't go wrong. And it's bestseller above Richard Branson and, and uh, the Chicken Soup for the Soul Guy and lots of other people that it's been doing very impressively. So go there and get your copy. And also, if you want to know where I'm being interviewed, speaking, what cities, anything, you can just go to my website and right there on the top of the website, it details every way to get in touch with me and links of, to all these interviews. Okay, so DebraDashinger.com, free gift for you. Let's talk about, we're going to take a different slant today. I always like mixing it up, right? Because there's so many aspects to dreams and goals. And it's very exciting. And I want to share with you that one of the things we're often very focused on out there, the dream and the goal, and getting there, which is great. But what about just stopping and reflecting? Reflecting is really important. So that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about just stopping, reflecting, and celebrating what you have already accomplished. Ooh, this is going to be a good talk tonight. <laughs> and it is. It really is. Because I'm here for you. I'm your cheerleader. We've been taught. Right? All of us LOAers, meaning law of attraction people, we have been taught, and clearly so, we've seen the effectiveness that gratitude, an attitude of gratitude, changes our vibration, thus it changes what's reflected back to us, mirrored back to us in our reality. Great. We understand that principle. So if that's true, then if we even vibrate gratitude to what we have already accomplished, the same is true. We, were, we will also bring in some yummy, wonderful things. So that's what we want to do. We want to open the energetic door to allow more good into our lives, always. Here's looking at you. <laughs> So yes, using those principles, we're going to stop and celebrate. We're going to look at what in our life, just think about in this past year, what have you done that you can sit back and go, wow, I am really proud of that. Wow, I did that. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. I didn't remember that. That's where we're going to go. Give your self-confidence a boost by acknowledging the things that you have already done well. It's so easy in the shadow of our dreams to sometimes feel like, oh, like it's so big, we're so here, how do I get there? However, when we see, wow, I did a marathon, wow, I freaking wrote a book. I wrote a book. I never thought I was going to do that. I really didn't. And not only did I write a book, but within hours of it coming out, it became a bestseller, bing, 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 including in one of the ones they said, oh, you can never get a bestseller there. That is so tough. I mean, think about who you're up against. All the names. Bestseller also in self-help. So, hello. Confidence booster, right? <laughs> What's possible? Think about the positive things you've already accomplished. Let's look back on the past year. Now, here's some questions, and I hope this sparks you in thinking in this direction. And just reflect as I ask you these questions. So, what have you done this past year to improve yourself as a person? Boy, I have a list. I mean, just this show alone, I could tell you the people who come on it, some of the workshops I've done, uh, some of the, right, you get it? I hope you're right there. Maybe you bought MP3s, maybe you've signed up for things. So I want you to go there now. Have you done anything to shift up how you see things? Like maybe you've started to take how you used to respond to something and suddenly decide to be more positive about it. That's something to be proud of. Darling, have you broken off any toxic relationships? If so, I'm going to kiss you. Oh, I can't get close enough. But I would kiss you. 
Yes, you got to let go of the toxic relationships. Have you become more assertive anywhere where you needed to? That's a pretty awesome thing to be proud of. And how about communication? Have you done anything to tinker with and adjust and modify how you communicate so you're better received and how you, that you better receive others? Well then, woohoo! Any of those woohoo for you. Okay, so what have you done in the past year? Another question that has helped improve someone else's life. Let's talk about that. Have you given your money or your time to a charity? Have you donated blood? Have you been there when somebody was having a tough time and been the soft place to fall on or the shoulder they could cry on? Have you helped somebody out who really needed help? Maybe you were on a bus or a train and you gave somebody your seat. Did you teach a child how to ride a bike, how to swim, how to tie a shoelace? If so, woohoo! <laughs> I'm celebrating your accomplishments, and I hope you are right now, too. That means that you have already accomplished. You're already a success. That's right. Okay, next question. How about what have you accomplished off of your day-to-day to-do -day to list? Hello. Uh, to-do list, right? Huge. So I get them every day. I'm sure you do, too. Or you ignore them, or you pretend they're not there. But don't we all have to-do lists? So... Think about that. Did you finally get around to cleaning the garage? Did you finally fix something? Did you finally paint something? Did you finally uh, organize your files or your computer? Wow, that's something big for me. Organizing my computer and always remembering once a month to back it up into the external hard drive. How about your clothes? This is another big one for me. I do get rid of my old clothes. I do give them to a charity and I do it on a regular basis. Any of those? Woohoo! I hope you're doing the woohoo with me. Do not make me woo or who all alone. <laughs> so you better be out there woohooing and saying, I celebrate me. That's what this is all about. Feel that, that gratitude, like, wow, I did show up. I did do that. I did attain that. I did achieve that. Did you write that book you've always wanted to write? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> Did you learn a new language? I didn't, but I'd love to learn Italian. That is the language I would love most to learn. Uh, how about, did you land your dream job? Well, then you get a triple. Okay, did you graduate from college? Did you buy a home? Did you get married? Did you have a baby? Big time, folks. Take that dream trip. Buy that dream car. Cool. How about did you do anything to improve your life? Well, with all of those questions, here is something you can do. Now, of course, we're writing down what our dreams are, what kind of action steps we want to take. We've got all of that going, and that's great, right? But wouldn't it be nice, too, to also keep a list of what I have accomplished? This is what I have done. This is where I'm at. Check me out. I did all that. Even if it's only for your eyes ever. How beautiful to know in your heart what you've done. Yeah? So do keep track of your accomplishments. You deserve that. You absolutely do. And you could always set something up so you celebrate. You could say to some of your friends or family, hey, what if every couple of months we get together? And that's just what we talk about. What have we accomplished? We talk about all these questions that Debbie brought up, DebraDashinger.com, and we just say, I could celebrate this. And everybody goes, woohoo for you. <laughs> everybody shows up for your celebration party, and you show up for theirs. It's a, a gratitude party. That sounds pretty cool. So, you know, when you have this myriad of achievements, it really does lay the groundwork for the creation of new goals. It's easier to get there because you go, wow, I really have done things well. Wow, I really have strived to have new accomplishments. And now I can see that the next ones on my list, they're just a little less daunting. It does give me more confidence in my abilities and what's possible. So, you know, it's always easy to set a goal. Sometimes it's easier to actually execute it to get where you want to go and be sure to celebrate every chance you get. So another subject I'm just going to say is about asking because this is really big in my life and I want to share it with you. Asking, asking, asking. So many of us feel like we ask 
do we really, do you really ask? I want you to think of asking in a whole new way. Like, if you need something, ask for it. There are people who go to restaurants and they're afraid to ask for what they really want, to have the food cooked the way they want. Hello, you're paying the restaurant for the food, for the chef, for the waiter. You can ask. If they don't want to do it, well, you don't have to go back. You know what I'm saying? Or you can choose to go back. Or you could say, I don't see this drink. You know, could I have this particular type of drink? I've done that before. Um, Asking for help is a skill we learn or don't learn as a child, and we learn to be very polite about it, and then we get older and we start realizing, well, I can't ask. I can't let anybody know I don't know that, or I, I can't let on. You know, we've got this very professional face and identity we put out there. So it could be more complex. It could require more time. But what if you just asked people for what you want? Now, I'm going to give you a caveat here, because I have been asking like a mama. I have been out there thinking of this in a whole new way than I ever did before. Instead of stopping myself and thinking, I can't or there's a limitation here, I said, what's the harm in asking? They could only say no. And if they say no, I could actually go to somebody else and ask, couldn't I? And maybe they'll say yes. Or maybe I'll figure out another way to do this. But here's the thing. You don't ever want to be obnoxious or mm, when you ask because you have to understand with great respect, people are very busy. So what I like to do, too, is I like to give back. I like reciprocity. So if somebody's going to show up for me, I always make sure to say, how can I support you? And then you do. You know, somebody's giving you a great gift. Or maybe you're not going to be able to support them right there in the moment. But, you know, they may say to you, I don't know, but, but when I think of something down the road, I'll come back to you. That certainly happened to me with people. I've developed amazing relationships with people because we've really showed up for each other. So... It was Rosalind Carter, the former first lady, who said this, a leader takes people where they want to go. A great leader takes people where they don't want to go, but ought to be. So be a great leader. Take people where they ought to be, and first take yourself with great celebration and recognition of all the wonderful things that you've created. And if you want a free gift to make your dreams and goals come true, it's from me to you. Go to Deborah Dashinger, D-A-C-H. I-N-G-E-R dot com slash free gift. Dare to make your dreams a reality.